An LLC, or limited liability company, is an easy and flexible business structure that allows you to protect your personal assets, establish credibility, and minimize taxes. It's a great alternative to a corporation, whether this is your first rodeo or your 15th. So how do you form one? There are two ways. You can do it yourself, or you can hire a service to do it for you. Let's look at both options. If you're forming an LLC yourself, there are generally six steps you need to follow. Choose your state, choose a name, nominate a registered agent, file formation documents, create an operating agreement, and get an EIN. If you think using a service is more your speed, you can skip to this timecode, or head to the links in the description for our reviews of professional services, as well as some exclusive deals we've negotiated just for our users. First things first though, let's start by choosing a state. Step one, select your state. For most new business owners, the best option is to form an LLC in the state where you live and plan to do business in. If your business will have a physical presence, like storefronts, offices, sales reps, etc., in different states, you'll need to register a foreign LLC in those states. When you head to our site, select your state, then right at the top, you'll see a video guide on the specifics of how to form an LLC in your state, so you don't miss any bureaucratic details. Once you have decided which state to form in, it's time to pick a name. Step 2. Name your LLC. Naming your business is probably one of the most fun steps of formalizing your business. You get to be creative and come up with something that really represents your brand. But hold on, you need to make sure the name you pick is unique. So go ahead and do a business name search online to make sure no one else has already taken your idea. And while you're at it, check your state's naming guidelines. Each state has their own set of rules. But here are some common ones. You need to include limited liability company in your name or use the abbreviations LLC or LLC with a period after each letter. If you don't want to put that in your name, you'll need to also file a DBA or doing business as. You need to avoid words that could make people think you're a government agency like FBI, Treasury, or State Department. I mean, unless you actually are a government agency, in which case, carry on. If you want to use certain words like bank, attorney, or university, you'll likely need some extra paperwork and a licensed individual to be part of your LLC. If you want more info on naming your business in your state, check out our helpful videos on the topic. And if you're struggling to come up with a name, don't worry. We've got you covered with Truett's free AI-powered business name generator. It's like having a brainstorming session with a robot, but in a good way. It also recommends names with strong web domain, which is a must-have. After you've named your business, the next step on your LLC journey is to get a registered agent. Step 3. Choose a registered agent. Now we know the term registered agent may sound intimidating, but don't worry. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, a registered agent, sometimes referred to as a resident agent or agent of service of process, is just a person or business that handles all the legal paperwork for your company. They're like your legal wingman, handling things like legal summons and state filing notices. Most states require that you have a registered agent when forming an LLC. Your agent needs to be a resident of the state you're doing business in, or a corporation authorized to do business in that state. So no outsourcing to your buddy who lives across the country. While you couldn't technically act as your own registered agent, we highly recommend hiring a professional service. Not only does that give you increased privacy, because your agent's address is public record, but also it ensures that you don't miss any important deadlines. Plus, if you work from home, Using a service will save you from having to use your own home address as your business address. And the best part? Many registered agent providers will form your LLC for you and serve as your registered agent for free for the first year. Talk about a deal! We've already done the research and found some exclusive deals for registered agent services, which you can check out in the description below. Once you have a registered agent, it's time to file your Articles of Organization. Step 4. File the Articles of Organization. Time to officially get down to business. Basically, you need to submit your formation documents to your state's business division, usually known as the Secretary of State. In some states, the Articles of Organization are referred to as the Certificate of Formation or the Certificate of Organization. Now you have two options. You can either complete the formation documents yourself, via online or snail mail, or you can hire an LLC formation service to do it for you. You'll need to fork over an average of $100 for state filing fees. Before you hit that submit button, it's important to decide whether your LLC will be member managed or manager managed. Don't know the difference? No worries. We've got you covered with our member managed versus manager managed guide. It's a real page turner. Once you've filed with the state, you'll want to make an operating agreement. Step five, create an operating agreement. An LLC operating agreement is a legal document that outlines the ownership structure and member roles of an LLC. We've created a free customizable operating agreement tool that you should use to simplify this step. 
It's available at howtostartanllc.com or at the link below. Although most states don't officially require you to have an operating agreement, it's still a good idea to create one when forming an LLC. There are six main sections of an operating agreement. Organization, management and voting, capital contributions, distributions, membership changes, and dissolution. We're in the home stretch. The last step is to get an EIN. Step six, get an EIN. An employer identification number, or EIN, also known as a federal employer identification number, or federal tax identification number, is like a social security number for your LLC. You'll need an EIN to hire employees or open a business bank account. You can get your EIN for free on the IRS website, via fax, or by mail. Done! Now, if you don't want to go through these steps on your own, the other option is to hire a service to form an LLC for you. They will file all the paperwork, and some even offer registered agent services. If you decide to use a service for your LLC formation, you can use our links below to get a discount and an even easier formation process. So let's summarize. When forming an LLC, you can either do it yourself or you can hire a service to do it for you. If you go the DIY route, there are six simple steps. Pick your LLC state, name your LLC, get a registered agent, file the articles of organization, create an operating agreement, and get an EIN. If you want a more in-depth breakdown for each step, and some seriously helpful resources, check out our website at howtostartanllc.com. We're all about making the LLC formation process as painless as possible. Good luck with your small business.